welcome back as we start things off this morning. More daylight starting to be noted. Not much fog showing up in the area, though. Not seeing much in Rhinelander at this point, so people should be able to make their commute without much issue. But Manitowish Waters, Lander Lakes, and Eagle River. Also, Tomahawk reporting some reductions in visibility this morning. This is a result of fog. This is how far you can see in front of you. And not very good out there for a couple areas, so it's going to be very patchy in nature, so you might notice a quick reduction, and then you'll be fine. It's kind of what we're putting up with this morning. Otherwise, though, a few thin clouds earlier this morning tracking to the south and east. A lot of that has fizzled out, so that means plenty of sunshine on the way for the daytime today, burning any fog that has developed off. And we have this front here surrounded by a couple areas of high pressure helping to really erode any moisture away, though, that's trying to develop with this front. So it does mean plenty of sunshine. Get outside and enjoy it. It also means some 80s that will be on the way to those days in the 80s. Looking to be numbered at this point. Temperatures right now, not too bad. We're in the 50s here in the north woods this morning. Pretty much everywhere seeing 50s. Upper 50s in Rylander, also in parts of the Wausau area, and also Marshfield as well. Our average high temperature ticking down now to 72 degrees, but the lower 80s are back today and tomorrow. Getting close to it on Friday in the upper 70s. Then it feels like fall just in time for the weekend in the 60s. Even upper 60s by your Monday. Then we're back in the middle 60s or middle 70s, excuse me, as we head towards your Tuesday. The dew points will make it to the 50s, maybe getting close to the 60s over the next few days. So by the time we head towards the weekend, looking pretty lower out there in the dew point department. So definitely some comfortable air will be here to stay by that point. Future cast moving forward though. Here's the clouds I developed this morning. No, no precipitation. We're going to stay dry today. And a lot of sunshine on the way and a very calm wind as well. Maybe a light breeze out of the northwest at about five miles per hour. Later on tonight, it'll be mostly clear. More areas of dense fog again. The fact it's showing up on future cast has me, con uh, uh, has me concerned though. So I'll we'll have to watch for a little bit in the way of some dense fog. But as we head towards tomorrow though, here's what's going to be happening. We're going to be watching for that fog going away. A lot of sunshine, a gusty southwest wind up to about 30 miles per hour. And chances for showers and storms as we head towards Friday. The timing of that looking to be tricky. So we're going to go with this solution at this point with possibly some afternoon chances for showers and storms along and north of Highway 8. And we'll see this slowly move in as we head towards Friday night and the Saturday. And that will continue through parts of Saturday and parts of Sunday too. Although Sunday, the chance will be a lot lower with a few more chances Monday before that begins to taper off. So for today, beautiful, mostly sunny, highs in the low 80s, that northwest wind getting up to about 5 miles per hour. Later on tonight, mostly clear areas of dense fog. Again, sounds like a broken record, right? With lows in the middle 50s and the wind overall looking nice and calm. And the Northwoods Furniture and Mattress, seven-day forecast. Here we are, we're dry through at least parts of Thursday before Friday. Chances for showers and storms along and north of Highway 8. Friday night, though, we might have to watch that, though. It might make the football games a little messy. We'll have to keep an eye on that. A few rain chances by the weekend and also into Monday before you dry out by Tuesday.